Hey there everyone, I've got something to show you that's been almost a year in the making. I've just received it today. I'm a little bit excited. Let me grab it. Here it is. This is a printed tartan based on the Fibonacci sequence. And if that doesn't excite you, well, you're probably watching the wrong YouTube channel. There it is. And if that's not good enough, I also have a ribbon of the same design, Fibonacci Tartan Ribbon. So I'm not going to bore you with wafts and warps and all the terminology of tartan or plaid, as I think people in the US might call it. But basically, it's a very number based thing to make. And the rows and the threads that have been used to create this design are based on the Fibonacci sequence. So we've got one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five, eighty-nine. And I must say, it's pretty impressive. I'm really pleased with it. So I'm going to give you a closer look, but while I do, I'm going to play a piece of music from our favourite musician here at Number File, Alan Stewart, who's been making all sorts of bits of music for us lately. And he's actually composed a piece of bagpipes music based on the Fibonacci sequence. And this is properly based on the Fibonacci sequence in lots of different ways. So when you're listening to it, see how many of them you can identify. If you don't like bagpipes, I would suggest skipping. In fact, I'll tell you exactly how much to skip. Basically, skip 1 minute and 30 seconds because that's how long this is going to play for. But it is very cool. It was a bit of an effort to have this made, at times it felt like a battle of uh, brave heart proportions. But I do want to thank the House of Tartan, who are the people who finally got this done for me. And if you want to design your own pattern, or buy tartan, or find out more about it, I strongly suggest their website. Of course, also thanks to Alan for his piece of music. We'll have more about that soon, so see how much Fibonacci you uh, saw in there and we'll, we'll come back to it. You're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this, and I'm wondering the same to be honest. I've got a few ideas, a few ways I might be able to share it with you guys, the viewers. But if you've got any suggestions, it's not too late to put something underneath the video. And I'll be back soon with more information. One last thank you, and that's to the people at audible.com for supporting this number file video. And actually, they've got an offer at the moment, if you're in the US or Canada, where if you go to audible.com slash number file, you can download one of their 100,000 audiobooks for free. I was having a look through thinking what one should I recommend, should it be some Scottish poetry or something like that, but then I saw that they have Alex's Adventures in Numberland. Alex Bellos you may have seen in some of our earlier number file videos and he's got a brilliant book about numbers. So go along, audible.com slash number file, go for your free book. So thanks again to everyone at audible.com because they let people like me do crazy things like make Fibonacci tartans. I do like it.